What does it mean to offer a blessing? Parashat Vayechi is a good opportunity to stop and think about the nature of brachot, both because it is heavily engaged with issues of giving and receiving blessings, and also because it's the end of Sefer Breshit, a book in which blessings are a major theme. That chazak moment is always a good opportunity to look back and reflect on the Sefer that we're finishing. So you might want to ask yourself, what was the first blessing in Sefer Breshit? What was the most recent one or the most important one? Who blesses whom and why? And how does bracha function in Sefer Breshit? I want to offer two thoughts on the nature of blessing as expressed in Sefer Breshit. First of all, it's interesting to note that the line between commandments and brachot is not always clear. The first mention of blessings in Parshat Vayechi is Yaakov telling Yosef that God blessed him when he was in Luz and told him to be fruitful and multiply. God said to me, I'm going to make you be fruitful and multiply and I'm going to make you into many nations, a multitude of nations. In its original context, in Breshit Lamed He, it isn't obvious that those words constitute the blessing that's described. As the Nitziv, Naftali Tzvi Yehuda Berlin, says in his commentary there, generally speaking, we interpret the words be fruitful and multiply as a commandment, not a blessing. But it's clear, according to the Nitziv, that it isn't intended that way there. After all, Yaakov has already done having children by the time he's having this encounter with God. Instead, this was a blessing for the future for Yaakov's progeny. I think this is especially important in the context of this parsha because most of Parshat Vayechi is taken up with what are typically called Yaakov's blessings to his sons. However, as many have noted, not all of these sound like what we would typically associate as blessings. And in the parsha itself, this speech where he talks about what will happen to uh, each, each son's descendants in Acharit Hayamim in the end of days, it's never referred to as blessings. At the end, right before Yaakov dies, the Torah says, Yaakov, et banav. Yaakov finished commanding his sons or instructing his sons. I think the Torah here is telling us that speaking with authority, commanding, is something that can actually be a form of blessing, it can be really powerful. We're meant to appreciate that sometimes telling someone what we believe will happen or wishing something for their future is in fact a form of conveying a bracha. The other related thought is that brachot really are something that allow us to transmit the wishes that we have for people from one generation to the next, and we are a people who are meant to be a blessing to other people, we're meant to be those people who give over blessings. When Yaakov blesses his grandsons, Ephraim and Manasseh, he says, Yisrael. On, a, on a limited basis, this means this is kind of the template for how you'll bless the next generation. But it really means this is how others will be blessed. Yaakov is giving us the language to transmit blessing. And I think this brings us back to the moment when God blesses Abraham and says, V'nivrechu b'cha kol mishpachot all people, all the people of the earth will be blessed through you, Abraham. We are the people who offer blessings. I think that's the biggest takeaway of Sefer Breshit. We're left at the end of this parsha with the paradigm of parents who offer blessings to their children and grandchildren, which represents a nation poised to offer blessings to those around them. In that spirit, I'll close by retelling a very beautiful and famous story from the Gemara in Brachot, Daf 7a. The high priest, Ishmael ben Elisha, describes entering the Holy of Holies and seeing a vision of God. God invites Ishmael to offer a blessing to God. And Ishmael says, May it be your will, God, that your mercy overcome your anger. And may your mercy win out over all your other attributes. And may you treat your children with mercy. And may you treat them beyond the letter of the law. Right? May you not hold them to strict justice. And God, in turn, as it were, nods God's head, accepting the bracha from Ishmael. And the Gemara concludes by saying, this teaches us, Kamash Malan, Shalotahabir Kathad Yod Kalabe This teaches us that 
anyone can offer a blessing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't look down on the blessing of even a normal person. Take seriously the blessing of all those around you. Be sensitive to your own power to offer blessings and also the power of those around you to do so as well. Shabbat Shalom.